Hi, my name is Leslie Kellen. I'm the director of the Center for Documentary Expression and Art. The video you're about to see documents our four-week residency at Hillcrest High School in the fall of 2014. This video focuses on the mural making process because it is in this process that all the residency's components, the field trip to the rock art site, the storytelling work, and of course the mural making itself, are most visibly focused on and reconsidered by the students, reimagined by them, and then presented through the mural. This is the best way to understand how the residency's components come together and culminate in the mural process. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed it. What were the messages on the walls? What were they saying? Were they trying to leave a message for us? Or were they just talking to each other? Or was it just one person who had something to say to themselves? It's a way of communication across boundaries. It was cool. Like I, I never realized how close Native American art or artifacts are um, to where I live. Since the, this, is, this piece is our reaction from going to Nine Mile Canyon and seeing their artwork, we didn't want it to be just like copied everything that they did. Sure. So sure. some people were more for like, like this is our interpretation, veering away from exact images that we saw. Sure. But some of us still wanted to include those images. So we went over them with the lights so that they would still be contained within the piece instead of individual pieces on their own. We had students talk about different themes that they were inspired by. The one we kind of settled on was past, present, and future. Just thinking about all the different aspects that it incorporates. You can see at the very end of the image we have Dovey, the storyteller. She was kind of crucial to that first discussion of past, present, and future. Um, but as we, we got going on, our, as we had all these ideas, it started to form into this new, this new image. And we had one girl in particular, she brought forth an image of a girl sleeping, thinking that that was, because we wanted to represent everybody in the school, but we didn't want to have the stereotypical cliques. When I was doing the thumbnail for it, I didn't intend for it to be part of the mural. I just did it to do it. <laughs> and so what we did, a girl sleeping, because people need to sleep and then she's also studying with books and piles of paper around her desk. The idea kind of came with the story with the book underneath and then the rock, rock art and then maybe her reading something to do with rock art and then in her dream behind her having like the Northern Lights from Brother Bear almost, them coming alive along it. Yeah. And so then using that we decided to use that kind of as our main, our main goal seeing as the present was a little more important to these guys and then we just tied in the past, present, future in different ways into the background. What I thought of was just having it like be like rainbows, like Roy G. Biv. So then I started with red and have it like transcend to green. Then I kind of like thought maybe like when it gets closer to the northern lights, it gets more green. Then when it goes past green, it went blue at the top. I think the process of working together on this, uh, sharing ideas, um, having to come up with something that, that they can all be part of and feel like they're not just doing what somebody else has told them to do. I, th I think it's, it's been great for them. It has, it has helped them to bond. I guess in a way it kind of helps me to socialize more. And this, especially with the fact that I'm normally shy. And, yeah, so it's fun to have a, another way to go about doing that. These kids get to have the opportunity to have something up in front of the entire school uh, that they can be proud of, that they can show off, feel like they're a little more connected with the school. I think it's, it's an opportunity for the students who are viewing it to, to connect with art that's a little more personal, to be aware that we're creating in this school, that there's good things going on here, that students have a voice and they can go from start to finish generate that, that idea to begin with and see it through to fruition and, and end up with a piece that they're really proud of. I'm thrilled about it.